Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa delivered a message on the occasion of World Press Freedom Day, which coincides with May the 3rd, 2018. In his message, His Majesty extended sincere thanks and appreciation to all journalists, media figures and writers for the constructive role in enriching enlightenment and creativity and strengthening the knowledge of society within the context of continuous progress towards consolidating democracy and sustainable development. His Majesty stated that as the Kingdom participates in this year's World Press Freedom Day under the theme Powers Balance, Media, Justice and the Rule of Law, he reaffirmed pride in the achievement of Bahrain's national project to consolidate the rule of law and institutions and encourage responsible press and media freedoms for nearly two decades, which is in line with the support of the National Action Charter and the establishment of modern constitutional monarchy. His Majesty said that the freedom of thought, expression and opinion, and mainly press and media freedoms, constitute a fundamental component in Bahrain's respect of human rights, civil, political, economic and cultural freedoms, and an indicator of Bahraini society's progress and its acceptance of diverse opinions, which is a reflection of Bahrain's belief that constructive substantial criticism and responsible freedom are a fundamental pillar of reform, modernisation, economic and social progress. His Majesty added that Bahrain's constitutional and legislative framework protects freedom of expression and the publication of newspapers and publications, the honest, impartial, objective, safe and independent work by journalists and media personnel, the right to information and statistics, confine them to the public within a context of transparency, pluralism and professionalism and ethical and social responsibility. His Majesty the King said that freedom of the press and media has expanded through the long history of intellectuals and an integrated national system established by Bahrain's modern constitution under advanced legislation, an independent and impartial judicial authority that safeguards freedoms and the establishment of justice and human rights institutions. His Majesty continued by saying that the institutions are to maintain professional and ethical standards, uphold the rule of the law and respect international human rights charters and covenants. He added that in the context of Bahrain's vision of development and modernisation, His Majesty called for issuing a modern law that promotes responsible freedoms in the press and media. His Majesty stated that the law should also be in line with the tremendous developments in information and communications technology and the government should implement the housing project for journalists and develop a special work structure for media professionals. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Ministry of Information Affairs and all its employees for their tangible efforts in cooperating with the National Communication Centre and the Bahrain Journalist Association, in partnership is in the legislative and judiciary branches, the human rights and press organisations, in developing the media and communication sector in all areas and aspects. His Majesty the King added that the continuation of the national achievements requires responsible free press and open pluralistic media that safeguards Bahrain's unity and social cohesion, which supports Bahrain's democratic march and economic growth. His Majesty stressed the importance of motivating young Bahraini men and women to cherish the national history of the Gulf and Arab identity and uphold the values of good citizenship and public morals and ethics. His Majesty expressed confidence in the awareness of Bahraini people and the commitment of the national press, media and human rights institutions in supporting Bahrain's reform march, which enters this year as a new stage as the fifth parliamentary and municipal elections are being held with the participation of men and women to choose representatives in the Council of Representatives and the Municipal Councils. His Majesty emphasised that the media and digital platforms, including social media, are not channels for disseminating news and opinions. They are influential entities with expanding vocational, ethical, social and legal rights to boost the awareness of society, protect civil peace, disseminate the values of tolerance and moderation and protect young people from extremist ideas. His Majesty stressed that freedom has regulations and does not mean menacing national security or public order through false news, rumours, sectarian or racist views or calls for sabotage and terrorism. His Majesty said, based on the belief in the principle of universality of human rights, Bahrain places its national capacities in the service of humanity and extends bridges of communication among civilizations, cultures and religions through the partnership between King Hamad International Centre for Peaceful Coexistence and the local international media. His Majesty also expressed pride in the progress made by the Arab nation in implementing Bahrain's proposal to establish the Arab Court for Human Rights, based in Manama, 
as a regional and international beacon for justice, rule of law and respect for human rights, including the right to information and freedom of opinion and expression. His Majesty said that free and responsible press will remain a top priority for Bahrain's reform march as an inherent human right. His Majesty the King concluded by saying that free and responsible press reflects Bahraini people's pride in the safety of the kingdom and its decent living and their adherence to the Arab and Islamic identity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, today patronised and attended the celebration organised by the Minister of Information Affairs on the occasion of the Bahraini Press Day, during which the winners of the third Khalifa bin Salman Press Award were honoured. His Royal Highness honoured the winners and hailed the efforts and contributions of Bahraini journalists in enlightening society, noting the professionalism and objectivity. He expressed appreciation to all Bahraini journalists, commending their achievements in regional and international events, which have consolidated the status of the national press. His Royal Highness stated that the award reflects the national appreciation of the noble role of the press. He noted that the Bahraini Press Day is an occasion to celebrate the deep-rooted national output. The Premier congratulated the winners and wished them further success and progress. He also welcomed the selection of the Saudi press as a guest of honour at the ceremony, which reflects the deep brotherly ties between the two countries and the brotherly people, as well as the role of the press in building bridges of cultural and civilization communication and deepening intellectual convergence between the two brotherly people. He noted the professionalism and objectivity of the Saudi press, adding that as the participation sets light on the importance of bolstering cooperation in the field of journalism to further strengthen relations between the Gulf Cooperation Council's countries. His Royal Highness said the development of the Bahraini press is a reflection of the dynamism and vitality of Bahraini society in the light of freedom and of opinion and expression guaranteed by the constitution and the law. He continued by noting the prominent role of the national press in defending the homeland against all dangers, adding that the kingdom would continue to recall with appreciation the honourable stance of the national press against the campaigns of distortion. The efforts exerted by the Ministry of Information Affairs throughout the various stages of the award were praised by His Royal Highness as well as the Ministry's organisation of the ceremony. The Prime Minister also praised the efforts made by the jury to assess the participants.
يسعدني ويشرفني أن أرفع إلى مقام سموكم الكريم أسمى آيات الشكر وعظيم التقدير والامتنان على تفضلكم اليوم برعاية جائزة خليفة بن سلمان للصحافة في نسختها الثالثة بالتزامن مع الاحتفاء بيوم الصحافة البحرينية واليوم العالمي لحرية الصحافة باسم أعضاء الأسرة الصحفية والإعلامية نود أن نسجل فخرنا واعتزازنا بهذه الجائزة الوطنية الرفيعة التي تتشرف بحمل اسم سموكم الكريم وتبرهن على تقديركم اللامحدود للصحافة الحرة والمسؤولة ورسالتها التنويرية بما يواكب مسيرة الإنجازات التنموية الشاملة والمتواصلة خلال العهد الزاهر لحضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى أيده الله وأنه لمن دواعي سرورنا اليوم اختيار المملكة العربية السعودية الشقيقة ضيف شرف الجائزة لهذا العام وللمرة الأولى منذ انطلاقتها في تجسيد حقيقي لعمق ومتانة العلاقات التاريخية الوثيقة والمتنامية بين البلدين الشقيقين وتميزها كأنموذج يحتذى به في الأخوة العربية والإسلامية معربين عن خالص تقديرنا واعتزازنا بالمواقف المشرفة والثابتة لأشقائنا بقيادة خادم الحرمين الشريفين الملك سلمان بن عبد العزيز آل سعود حفظه الله في الوقوف إلى جانب أمننا واستقرارنا ومساندة مسيرتنا التنموية السعودية التي نرتبط بها ارتباطاً روحياً أرض الحرمين وقبلة المسلمين السعودية التي قدمت الكثير خدمة للإسلام والمسلمين السعودية التي لا تحتاج شهادة أحد فهي الفعل للقول الحليف الأول للأمتين العربية والإسلامية أن من يستهدف المملكة العربية السعودية يستهدف يستهدفنا في عروبتنا وإسلامنا وأمننا واستقرارنا هكذا نحن ارتبطنا بالسعودية ارتباط بالشقيق الأكبر تعلمناها من الآباء وننقلها للأبناء إنما يتحمله الإعلام السعودي دفاعاً عن قضايا الأمة وعظم المسؤولية يحتم علينا الاحتفاء به مؤكدين دعمنا ووقوفنا جنبا إلى جنب معكم في العسر واليسر مستذكرين بكل فخر واعتزاز المرابطين من رجال البحرين والسعودية وأشقائهم في الحد الجنوبي داعين الله العلي القدير أن يرحم شهدائنا ممن ضحوا بأرواحهم دفاعا عن أطهر بقاع الأرض عندما نتحدث عن الصحافة في الخليج فلا يمكن أن يكون ذلك بمعزل عن النظر إلى صحافة مملكة البحرين ودورها الطلعي المبكر في ظهور أول صحيفة من هذه الأرض الطيبة فقد حمل أهلنا في البحرين في وقت مبكر مشاعل التنوير والوعي عبر منابر كثيرة كان في طليعتها الصحافة ضمن وسائل إعلامية أخرى وعندما نتحدث عن الصحافة في الخليج فعلينا أن نتذكر أيضاً أن أول صحيفة بحرينية صدرت كانت منذ ما يقرب من قرن مؤذنة بدخول البحرين عالماً مشعاً من الفكر والثقافة ومهيئة لصدور عدد من الصحف البحرينية على التوالي في زمن كانت فيه منابر التثقيف محدودة وبخاصة الإعلام الإعلامي منها سواء في البحرين أو في غيرها من دول مجلس التعاون. أتشرف في البداية أن أتقدم بأسماء آيات الشكر والتقدير والامتنان لسمو الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة على تفضل سموه برعاية جائزة خليفة بن سلمان للصحافة والتي نشهد اليوم دورتها الثالثة. في مبادرة سامية تجسد دعم سموكم الراسخ للصحافة والإعلام وحرصكم على إداء رسالتها في المجتمع على النحو الأكمل وتعكس الرعاية الكبيرة للصحابة لدر قياداتنا الحكيمة بما توليه من اهتمام لتعزيز حرية الكلمة المسؤولة وضمان الحق في التعبير عن الرأي وإذا كانت هناك اليوم العديد من مظاهر الاحتفاء 
بالصحافة التي تبعث الفقر لدى العاملين بهذه المهنة إلا أن جائزة خليفة بن سلمان للصحافة تظل هي الأعز كونها تحمل اسم صاحب السمو الملكي رئيس الوزراء الذي يحظى بحب جميع أبناء الشعب البحريني وليس الوسط الصحفي فحسب حيث أن بصمات سموكم التنموية والتطويرية في كل ربوع المملكة شاهدة على عقود من العمل الدب بلا كلل أو ملل وبكل عزم وإرادة كي تسير مملكتنا الغالية بخطى ثابتة وقوية في عالم التقدم والنهضة والرخاء وتأخذ مكانة متقدمة بين الأمم على مدى أعوام طويلة مارست الصحافة الوطنية البحرينية أدوارا كبيرة على صعيد توعية الرأي العام بضرورة المحافظة على الإنجازات والمكتسبات الوطنية بما يحقق مصالح الوطن ويلبي طموحات المواطنين وفي العهد الزاهر لحضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه تعاظم دور الصحافة وزاد تأثيرها واستمر الاهتمام بالصحافة الوطنية على أعلى المستويات. جاءت جائزة خليفة بن سلمان للصحافة. Afterwards, a short movie was screened about the award and the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the Bahraini press and to all journalists. الأمير خليفة بن سلمان الخليفة رئيس الوزراء الموقر تأكيدا على أمرين. أولهما الدعم الذي لطالما حظيت به الصحافة الوطنية من لدن سمو رئيس الوزراء حفظه الله ورعاه وثانيهما أن للصحافة منزلة عالية عند سموه وفي ظل اتساع الحريات وتوسع نطاق النشر من الورقي إلى الإلكتروني إلى النشر الذكي كان لابد من توليفة وطنية خالصة تحافظ على الثوابت والتوازن الاجتماعي وتعلي أهمية وقيمة الصحافة الحرة Journalists, media figures, writers and thinkers attended the special ceremony and expressed their sincere gratefulness to His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, for his support and encouragement, enriching enlightenment and creativity. Moreover, providing them with a climate of freedom to discuss various national issues with openness, stressing that the appreciation of the role of journalists is an important turning point for the national press that strongly motivates them to be more expressive and transparent. There was a tangible increase in the number of participants this year, and after a process of sorting and arbitrating 230 works, four winners were picked carefully. The winner of the Best Column Prize is Ahmed Karim from Al Bilad newspaper. The winner of the Best Investigative Report Prize is Alawi Al Musawi, also from Al Bilad, while winner of the Best Press Photo is Layarina Magazine. And from Gulf News, Hala Kamal Din is the winner of the Best Press Interview. I work very hard for this, so I am very happy today. We are proud that we get the prize of the Best Picture from the, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman. Uh, we are proud, we are happy. Happy and so proud. And uh, it gives me encourage in the future for more work.
On the World Press Freedom Day, the role of press as a platform to enlighten the public opinion, increase people's awareness and support their efforts towards national development was truly celebrated. The Khalifa bin Salman Press Award reflects the keenness of His Royal Highness on supporting and encouraging press on both local and regional levels, having Saudi Arabia as the special guest this year. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffour. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met the editors-in-chief of Saudi newspapers, healing the development and openness Saudi Arabia witnesses under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, as it became a centre of power in the world as a result of the determination of the King and Crown Prince. His Royal Highness noted that all attempts of sedition will fail as long as the nation is led by Saudi Arabia. He hailed the Saudi press, which made many contributions to Arab and Gulf readers, and as a result of which, the voice of Arabs is heard globally. He noted that Saudi Arabia owns over 17 daily newspapers, which are considered 17 rockets targeting Saudi's enemies for the role of the Saudi press in defending Arab and Muslim causes. He also expressed pride in the Gulf journalistic competencies. His Royal Highness directed Gulf columnists to document the writings, expressing thanks and appreciation to the Arab press for participating as a guest of honour in the third Khalifa bin Salman Press Award, which reflects the bilateral relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, addressed the world on the occasion of World Press Freedom Day, stating that the developmental role of the press and media is no less important than its noble message in development and enlightenment. His Royal Highness hailed the efforts of the press and its role as a platform to enlighten the public opinion, increase people's awareness and support the efforts towards development. He affirmed the responsible words are more effective in establishing the pillars of modernisation and stability and enhancing development in any community. He stressed that the press is committed to the ethics of journalism, is and will remain pioneering, leading communities to the path that contributes to building the future. His Royal Highness stated that journalism in Bahrain is successful as a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He commended the level of Bahraini journalism and progress it achieved through consecutive generations. His Royal Highness praised journalists and media figures for the efforts to develop the values and principles of noble journalism as a tool of enlightenment. He lauded the pioneering and effective role of journalists and columnists in enlightening the society and defending its interests and causes. He also hailed the role of Bahraini Journalists Association in developing journalism in Bahrain and the abilities of its affiliates. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the newly appointed Ambassador of the Republic of Turkey to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Kemal Demirjula, at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed the ongoing development of Bahraini-Turkish relations, particularly in business and trade, and stressed the importance of further increasing cooperation at all levels. The Crown Prince noted that the continuous support provided by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Bahraini-Turkish partnership is of crucial importance to the advancement of bilateral ties and has led to numerous mutually beneficial agreements. 
His Royal Highness and the Ambassador went on to discuss a range of regional and international issues, emphasising the importance of further strengthening development in areas of mutual interest. His Royal Highness congratulated the newly appointed Ambassador, wishing him success in his new diplomatic role. The Ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his ongoing contribution to development of Bahraini-Turkish relations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the newly appointed Ambassador of Thailand to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Thanis Nasukla, at Rifa Palace. The Crown Prince and Ambassador discussed bilateral trade relations between Bahrain and Thailand and reviewed areas of mutual interest to further strengthen cooperation between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended his congratulations to the Ambassador, wishing him every success in his new diplomatic role. The Ambassador expressed pleasure at the opportunity to, to meet His Royal Highness and emphasised Thailand's commitment to continue building on existing Bahraini-Thailand ties. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the newly appointed Japanese Ambassador to Bahrain, Haidiki Ito. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad praised the friendship relations highlighted at the cooperation in various areas, chiefly sport. The Japanese Ambassador commended the achievements and development witnessed by the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields. The representative to His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received Kuwait's Ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Azam Mubarak Asuba. His Highness Sheikh Nasser healed the solid fraternal relations binding the two countries, noting the Bahraini Kuwaiti cooperation and shared vision towards common destiny. He wished Kuwait further progress and prosperity. The Kuwaiti ambassador congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser on winning the Ironman North America Championship under age 49 category, concluded recently in Texas, USA, which reflects the progress of Bahraini sport. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, held a telephone call today with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of the Kingdom of Morocco, Nasser Baritha, during which he affirmed the Kingdom's support for the Kingdom of Morocco's decision to sever its relations with the Islamic Republic of Iran due to the military support of its ally Hezbollah to the Polisario Front. The Minister of Foreign Affairs pointed out that Iran is providing support and funding for the enemies of the Kingdom of Morocco and the Arab nation which requires a collective Arab position and actions to confront all forms of Iranian interference in the internal affairs of Arab states and stop Iran's attempts to threaten the national Arab security and spread violence and chaos in the region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs stressed the depth and the strength of the brotherly relations between the two kingdoms, which are based on a long history that goes back to the era of the late King Hussein II, noting the development of these relations under the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco. He also recalled with appreciation the supportive stances of Morocco towards the Kingdom under all circumstances to maintain its security and stability. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed the unwavering stance of Bahrain with the Kingdom of Morocco, highlighting its support to the Moroccan initiative regarding the autonomy of the Western Sahara in a framework that preserves Moroccan integrity and unity according to international legitimacy. For his part, the Moroccan Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed his thanks and appreciation for this supportive position from the Kingdom of Bahrain towards the Kingdom of Morocco. He affirmed pride in the brotherly relations between the two kingdoms in all fields, wishing the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. In the context of the Ministry of Education's implementation of the Schools Performance Improvement Programme, the Ministry celebrated the high-rated schools in the third edition. 
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al-Nuemi, received the Ministry's office the principles of schools receiving good and excellent ratings, healing the efforts of the school's administrative and education authorities. The Minister noted the role of the school's performance improvement programme in developing schools' environments and providing the best educational services, affirming the Ministry's keenness on self-assessing the performance of its institutions through specialised authorities. The meeting was attended by the Ministry's Under Secretary for Resources and Services, Dr Mohamed Mubarak Juma, and a number of officials in the Ministry. The CEO of Urban Planning and Development Authority, Sheikh Naib bin Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, stated that a series of workshops on adopting the waterfront for King Faisal Corniche have been held, in which a number of related service and government authorities have participated. Sheikh Naif added that a number of topics have been selected to be discussed during the workshops to contribute to implementing the project according to the specifications that guide the development of the waterfront, which has been set as part of the Bahraini French Initiative for City Planning. He stated that the main idea of the project has been decided previously and the goal of the workshops was to discuss and highlight examples in the application of the new waterfront requirements.